Hello everyone, and welcome back for more Pixies! Oh no, what accent did I give them? It's been so long. I know your voice, it's easy. Alright. Oh my god, that looks good. I guess it is her in front of the final gate. As the heart bids, Tia Beck looks ready to curl up and sleep on the spot. Let, now, let's, before she obviously talks, let's get the voice right. Oh, aye, we're going to the forest. Aye, it's close enough to that. <laughs> Alexander, I feel so sleepy. Is this an effective online spell? Given that they tried to plant a night menu, it's little wonder you should feel drowsy. If the urge is so strong, why don't you just sleep? Not on your life! If I have a nightmare, you'll come and suck on me! Ugh. If you are not tormented by an unfulfilled need, you shouldn't be plagued by nightmares. But in the event you were, yes, I would suck on you. Nom, 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 nom. Ugh. Ugh! I'm never going to sleep again! Never, ever! Ugh. Uh, if you say so. Now then, may I, may I suggest we inspect Lear Meg for anomalies? And while we're there, perhaps we can look in on the little girl from Sethabow. Good idea. Alright, off we go. Tally ho, and away we go. Da 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 Alright. Oh, all the way over there, I think. If you listen, it it makes the squelchy sound. Ugh. I know I wasted me running for that, but oh well. Be funny if you actually, if this actually worked. Since the one above it spins, if you actually ran around that, if it spun. But it doth not. And I was wrong, I was thinking it might have been there. With her talent, this little girl should be all should be able to tell us about her dreams in more detail. <sighs> oh, can barely keep my eyes open. What would Tearbeck's nightmares taste like, I wonder? Nom 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 nom. Tasty tasty. I had a feeling that we would meet again ere long. I take it you've not had nightmares since... Oh, not had nightmares since. All is well with you, little one. Yes, thank you. Now that the fear of failure no longer consumes me, a pall has lifted from my heart. I feel happier than I have in a long time. Ah, oh, that's wonderful to hear. Now tell me, did you meet Anne Lad, a pale pixie, in your dreams? Only briefly. But that was enough for me to see their torment. Theirs is a lonely soul, one which draws powerful emotions to it. And though I only caught fragments, in the deepest depths of their heart, I glimpsed this realm, and I glimpsed you, Tierbeck. What? Me? Feeling sorry for Anne Lad, I befriended them, but I ended up being caught in that nightmare. I'm sorry, but I must go. Mother is calling. Anne Lad was an empty vessel, highly susceptible to outside influence. And it's difficult to imagine a stronger influence than that of the Fairy King. Ah, 
one lad might have spent might have spurned me, but I won't give up. I want to become their friend, I truly do. I feel their loneliness so very keenly, and I think it's because of all the mortal hearts I've glimpsed, together with you and Azil. I, I don't know why, but when I think about Aunt Lad, my chest tightens up. Am I being strange? And if I were, would you still stand by me? Or would you run for the hills? Eccentric or no, we're with you. We wouldn't dream of abandoning you. Yeah, we wouldn't dream of abandoning you. Here, here. We've come this far together. We're with you to the end. Oh, thank you, Alexander. A seal. With that settled, let's discuss our next course of action. Now, you said that the Fifth Gate didn't exist prior to the Nightmares. Yes, we fashioned only four. Someone else must have created the Fifth. Someone as skilled in manipulating dreams as me. This is problematic indeed. Up until now, we lifted the seals by vanquishing the Nightmares in the regions beyond the gates. This time, however, we do not know where the gate leads. Hold on now. If Anne Lad was in Lear Meg, wait, does that mean? <sighs> the likelihood is passing high. The place is Il Meg. And the fact that the gate is sealed means an individual already exists who is the source of the nightmares. I wonder who that could be. Someone here in the Fairy Kingdom who is constantly plagued by terrible dreams. I can only imagine... I can't imagine anyone more likely than Anne Ladd themselves. So, we help Anne Ladd like we help the children. Free them from the nightmares. That's... That's... Oh, can't fight it anymore. Ah, uh, it was only a question of when. Let's leave Tierbeck to rest for now, and do what we can in the meantime. So, if we are to help Adlad, it is essential that we understand them. To that end, I suggest that we learn all we can of the previous Titania by speaking with the Fae Folk. Let's split up this task and reconvene here afterwards. Sounds good? Also, big hat. Uh, right, so we want to get out of here. Oh, let's not just run straight off the cliff to death. Bum, 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 bum. Pretty, aren't they? Nothing to say. Oh, you know, so I'm not 100% sure, but I think you get the mount for completing this quest. Because generally 7 is the end of the story, and then 8 is like a little bonus. So that I guess means that this might be the end of the major story of it. Alright. <coughs> Ul Sigan. The old Titania! Of course, how could we forget? They protected us from the Sin Eaters, and we're forever grateful. I even remember them before they became king. They weren't so different from the rest of us. I really like making mischief, drinking milk, rollicking in dreams, all the usual pixie pleasures. It must have been hard for them, alone inside that castle. Bad enough about that, 
Play with me! Play with me! It isn't fair that Tia Beck gets to spend all that time with you. Yeah, I'll just be right back. Ah, I thought so. We're going to each of the three. Should have probably teleported. Still can. Ah, oh, whatever. I think it'll save like 20 seconds. Maybe 20 seconds. That would be pretty good. 15 seconds. <laughs> Alright. Ah! Oh, Sigan. You wish to know about our previous monarch? As I recall, before their ascension, they were exceptional at wielding the power of nature. Oh, and they were seldom seen without their bosom friend, a pixie of pink. The tragic manner of their downfall is a source of immeasurable pain for us. Never will we forget their sacrifice. Huh? Payment for the information? No, no, that will not be necessary. If anything, we are the ones that owe you thanks for setting our monarch free. Hello there! Alright. Back on the draggy. Oh, I suppose wyvern. Wyvern, dragon. Uh, it's always hard to tell with Monster Hunter. Now, who are we going to talk to here? be cool if it was set or, but I don't imagine it will be. Nope, not set or. La La Jule. With an egg? Or a rock? Very comfy rock. Curious about the previous Titania, you say? Of course, I shall be glad to tell you what I know. When they became a Sin Eater, it was with great sorrow that we resolved to seal them away inside Lea Gyar. Tia Beck opposed the decision to the last. I cannot claim to know the heart of a pixie, but if I were Titania, I would have liked nothing more than to be praised, to be remembered. Now then, if I may ask, are you not being subjected to mischief? For your own good, I advise against getting too intimate with the pixies. Surprisingly, no, they're actually, like... Well, the ones I'm with are being relatively good. ba 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 da do 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 All right, Azil, what you found? There you are, Alexander. Well, what were you able to learn about Titania? Well, uh, bits and pieces. Ah, you went around praying while I slept? <laughs> ah, people complain that pixies have no propriety. Tear back, uh, you're awake. But, to know that everyone still remembers my friend, still remembers their sacrifice, oh, it makes me happier than I can say. Tis plain that the two of you were the, the closest of friends. All the favor with whom I spoke attested to that. With my obsession for dreams, I was considered strange, even among pixie kind. No one wanted anything to do with me, but they accepted me as I was. Without them, I would have been all alone, like a lad. <gasps> ah, I see now. And lad, they're the pixie I used to be. Like me, 
All they need is for someone to accept them for who they are. I see. Self-actualization. I, I, oh, I nearly got that right, but did self-actualization. I believe my master called this need, and I dare say it, it will provide us with a clue to unsealing the final gate. I didn't get the context of saying that right, but okay. It doesn't matter whose soul and lad was born from. It doesn't matter whose ether they inherited. They're a pixie, like the rest of us. As a fellow pixie, I can't let them suffer. I can't let them stay in that dark, lonely place. What's more, I can't help but feel that my friend was the one who guided them to me. Oh, they loved everyone they did. No one should be alone. Oh, I can almost hear them say. They reached their hand out to me once upon a time. Now it's my turn to reach out mine out to Anlad. Come, let's go to Leomeg and find Anlad. If, if we have to, we'll pound on the gate until they come out. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, what is happening? Something's not right. Tia Beck, thank heavens you're here. There's trouble on Leah Meg. Terrible trouble. What is it? I can't say for certain, but there's a power well up within. A terrible power. What? Could it be Anne Lad? I'm going inside. If it's Anne Lad, I'm the one who, who can stop them. No, no we're just. Oh, confound it. I'm going with you. And don't forget me. Oh my god, there's an actual trial at the end? If you go up too, there's no guarantee you'll come out alive. Uh, please go anyway. Go and help Tia Beck. Alright. Duty calls. Commence battle for As the Heart Bids. Level 70. Let's do this. Oh, wow. No! My precious Leah Meg! And lad's power is running rampant. By questioning their own existence, they are causing their essence to unravel. Leah Meg along with it. If this realm collapses, there's no telling how the minds of those whose dreams are connected will be, to it will be affected. Yet one thing is all but certain, and lad themselves will disappear. No, they're my friend. I can't let that happen. Please, please help and lad. When I was so thirsty, no one gave me anything to drink. When I wanted to play, they drove me away. I just wanted a friend. I wanted someone to tell me that I did well. But everyone treats me like a plague. I shouldn't have been born. I am shocked by this. This is super cool. Also, I'm not sure what to expect. Purge the Omega of Nightmares. To think that all of this came from Anlad's heart. Come on, we have to hurry and find them. I guess we have a party of three. Yeah, we do. Cool. So I'm guessing we're going to go to each gate, basically. 
and fight all the things we fought before again. Oh, no. This mist. It's a nightmare that plagued one of the children. We'll just care. Take. Oh, we'll just take care of it like always. Azil, do your thing. Very well. Alexander, at your command, I will suck it up. Oops. And spit it out yonder for smiting. Use the duty action. Solicit siphon snout. To direct Azil. Eel. To. To. Dr I'm ready, Alexander. Just say the word. To devour the clouded dream. Do, 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 do. Here I go. Right. Time for my magic. Get ready, Alexander. This gloomy aura, over there, it's our lad. I can't control my power. Just wait her! Stay away! Stay away from me! Stay away! Ah lad! Let's keep giving chase while we tend to the nightmares! Oops. Another night! Another nightmare! Alexander! I await your command! I sense potent power. Yeah. I still sense a nightmare nearby. I tell you, I've been finding it. Oh, I see it over there. I'll make short work of this. <laughs> Just leave it to me. Here I go. Oh my god. No, where did Dan Lad disappear to? Get out! Get out of my head! Unlad, wait! We want to help you! I have a bad feeling about this. Alright! That was a weird voice there. Oh! This burning sensation! It's a nightmare! From Raktika. Get ready. Ah. Careful, Alexander. This fiend is stronger than the ones before. There's our lad! Come on! <laughs> our lad is fading fast! We don't have much time!
Another clouded dream. The worm this time, perhaps? Another nightmare. Let's be quick about it. Oh, how it turns. Show your ugly face. Yep, thought so. No, the water will walk, walk by crimson curves. Ah, burst the bubble. My wings are drenched! Can't be many nightmares left now! Ugh! Ah! Up on the slope! Somebody help me! Oh, that was smart. Eh! 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 Oh, That would've been cool. But no. Hold on, that lad, we're coming for you. I can't take it anymore. I just want to disappear. Oh, no, you don't. Don't you dare disappear on me. I'll never devour anything near as potent. But whatever may become of my belly, I will do this. I must. Oh, for God's sake. T there. Like a thousand knives slicing and stabbing. Brace yourselves. This is the mother of all. Ugh. Great work, Azil. Alexander, get ready. Oh. And lad, it's all right. We're fighting with you. It's no use. I'm no use. Yes. Yes. Embrace yourself, Dart. Your fear. Your hatred. The wretched world has given you naught but torment. You will reward them in kind. Give them their deepest, darkest nightmares. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> A plane. You are a plague! I am a plague. My existence brings only torment. Better that I fade away. Not good! We must vanquish the nightmare before it's too late! Let your torment consume you. Let it spread all around you. Those things, they're manifestations of torment. They feed into Anlad. If we don't stop them, the nightmare will grow stronger. Let us form a protective circle. <laughs> Please, I don't want to use this power anymore. Metal 
fools and wretches! Be gone with you! Oh, what now? Watch out, you two! Yeah, di didn't quite read that in time, did I? You are alone! No one cares for you! No one will save you! It's going after Ran Lad! We must stand with them! <laughs> I have no place in the world! And lad, stay strong! We're here for you! Huzzah! We did it! It's over! You're free now, Anne Lad! Da 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 da! Duty complete! That thing was interesting. The nightmare is fading! We did it! Silly Pixie! Don't lose control like that ever again! That nightmare of yours was no joke! Uh, nightmare? Yes, yours! And it caused a great deal of trouble! I'm sorry. All well and good to apologize, but don't think you have something. Don't you think you have something else to say to Alexander? He's the one who vanquished your nightmare. I was dreaming, dreaming that I was imprisoned alone inside a great castle. I was so lonely and scared. I was so terribly. It was so terribly silent. I felt as though I was losing myself. But you came, Alexander. You came and freed me. Thank you. You did well. So on, lad, now that your nightmare is gone, we can make lots and lots of fun dreams together. But I don't know how to make fun dreams. I'm afraid I'll only make more nightmares. Look, it's true that you're a little different from the rest of us. Aye, it's true, you have a few things to learn. But, there's no need to rush. Just do what you think feels right, and I'll be well. Even if you do end up creating a nightmare, there's no need to fret, as the other here will make short work of it. Just so, I only ask that you don't keep the dreamer for yourself. <laughs> And if that happens, we'll just fix up the nightmare, add a pinch of pixie magic, and make it fun again. 
Did you know I lied? Like a rainbow that appears after the storm, no dream is more beautiful than the one you see after conquering a nightmare. So, I want you to fly tall. Because you're one of us, a proud pixie are you'll make. That's right. Rain, hail, or shine. The kingdom of rainbows is your home. Here, you can always be yourself. I can be myself. Ah, my heart swells with song. Ah, I can't help but want to dance. Yes, yes, that's the way. Do as your heart bids you and dance. Dance with me. Wow. Wow, now that's an upgrade. In the city of rainbows. Good heavens, it's beautiful. I knew you had it in you. This is what it means to have fun. I never imagined it would feel so amazing. Come on, Alexander. Come and play with us! For the night is long and you can sleep when you're dead. <laughs> By freeing an lad from their nightmares, you and yours have reclaimed all the dreams in Novrant. Forever young and carefree, the pixies shall rollick with their guests in Liam Egg this night and all the nights to come. Ah, oh, it is nice though. If Ann Lad's marvelous wait, in Ann Lad's marvelous creations, I can fairly sense Titania's hand. And though it was but for a moment, or but a moment, I thought I saw not two, but three pixies dancing. Ah, such fun! This is all new to me, but it feels nostalgic, as if, as if I found a missing part of myself. Do you see all of this, Alexander? This is our precious Liam Egg, and if it weren't for you, it wouldn't be here, it wouldn't still be here. And neither would this hopeless silly pixie. Am I silly? Oh yes, you're the silliest, 
And dearest of all. I must say, when they buried us, pixies can be quite adorable. From here on, Alexander, I'll continue watching over Leah Meg with my friends. We'll revel on Volok and make sure that, that the garden is always filled with fun. And different though our kinds may be, I count on you among I count you among the very best of friends. So please come and visit us often and play with us. Why don't we turn him into a leaf man? That way he can stay with us forever. And lad, if there's one thing you must never do, it's lay a hand on Alexander. Alright, if you say so. Right, I should assure everyone outside that all is well again. Let's return to Leah Loran for now. Le Leda Loran. Tia Beck and the others are happy, and that makes me happy. Oh, I wish I could fly in here. There's, let's see, the map is huge. There's got to be a bunch of new things. I'm going to come back and look, because we've clearly got the end of the quest here. Bum, bum, bum. Also, it is just gorgeous in here now. I mean, you can see stuff over there, so there's definitely new stuff. By my conjecture, the soul from which Anne Light was born is no different from that of ordinary pixies. The ether that quickened them, however, was far from ordinary. The ether of the fallen Titania. Based on their dreams of the castle, we may be certain of this. Not so certain, however, is whether this union between ether and soul happened by chance or by design. The academic in me can't help but wonder, but I doubt the question shall ever be answered. I've told the other pixies about everything. They understand now that Anne Lad is in the danger, and welcome them as one of us. It's simple like that with our kind. And though we've restored Leah Meg to its full splendor, it doesn't mean our work is done. We need to ensure that the realm is always beautiful and filled with fun. And for this, we need to keep on collecting dream bubbles. I hope you'll continue to lend the dream spinners a helping hand, Alexander, for the fun and happiness of pixies and mortals alike. As the heart bids. Reputation up. Your reputation has increased to Swan. You've achieved Swan reputation with the dream spinners. If I recall correctly, you don't get any bonus quests for this. Let's see. You will receive an experience point bonus upon completion of beast, Pixie Beast Tribe daily quests. You now have access to a wider selection of wares from Jewel. Yep, thought so. You don't get bonuses for the technically last one. Forever Young. Yep, same thing. My dear friend shed the dream of making Leah Meg particularly beautiful. And I believe it was their hand that guided our lad. How delighted they would be to see our garden as it is now. So, didn't get to show you any quests that you get to use that. But... Portly Poxy Horn. Is this everything? Yep. Rot of clay, this horn emits a mellow sound and the aroma of cured meats to lure your portly pixie to your side. Oh, I've got a lot of garbage in my inventory.
a mount. Ah, right at the end there. A prodigious proxy created by the low, the log ank, for transportational purposes. Fond of sausages, it oft spends its free time in the curing chamber, and thus has come to take on the aroma. While comfortable to ride thanks to its soft curves, they expect regular rumbles from its belly. Ooh, when I get my hands on those bulky nappers! And as you can see, it comes with the the special ability. Sadly, doesn't come with unique music again. Piggy, piggy, piggy! It is a very cute mount. Do, 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 do. But let's go and have a quick wander around. And have a look at what that stuff there is. Because there's definitely new stuff in here. That much is very obvious. Alright, and while I think. So, yes, as you can see, we still have 1,730 points to go. Because there is a level 8. There always is. And in the older ones... Scree! Scree! In the older ones, there wasn't really any extra story or anything with them. It was just like, hey, well done. Oh my god, massive scree! But in the more recent, like, the, well, Stormblood basically onwards and um, they've been actually like a big end of the story <laughs> Scree. so I expect that there's still gonna be something pretty cool to end it with ba 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 Aww. So what we're going to find here, yeah, I can see a Moogle. Ah, it's a, like a giant plushie. Also, is this a plushie or is it an actual Spriggan that doesn't want me to know? That is like amazing and terrifying at the same time. Oh my god! Look, it's the... Uh, they obey my every command! It's like all the guys from... The Four... The Four Lords. I'll keep the woods safe. I'll keep everyone safe. Just you watch. Oh my god! Look at the tiny little guy! There's a lot of kobolds! No, Cobalt Spriggans. There's a lot of Spriggans, which had like no place in the story, but it's still very cool to see them. Ooh! I wish I was as big as that tree. Don't know why I give you the voice. Well, if you put your mind to it, something, 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 tree. No, I haven't went far enough away, bugger. Ba, 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 da. I'll just sit here with you guys. Come on. Ah. You you could turn yourself into a big tree yourself. I don't think that's how it works. Ba 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 dum. Ba ba da ba dum. Da 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 I can't remember. Was that an area you had access to before? So technically you've lost a tiny bit of area. Oh, 
chillins. Last one there's a rotten egg. And there might even be hidden treasure. If we use those big mushrooms, we can reach the top. Oh, there's a jumping puzzle, isn't there? Or is it just a, like, climbing thing? Well, I've got to find out now. Thanks a lot, kids. Alright, doesn't look like it's a jumping puzzle. It looks like you go at the top and you can just see out. Whoa! What is this place? Flowers, flowers, we need more flowers. It's a bit of a weird place for you to bring flowers, but cool. A rainbow, it's so beautiful. I wish Mummy could see this too. Do you think we can walk on it? Yeah, probably. So you can sit. Ha ha, I knew it! Because they're hammocks, so you should be able to sleep on them. I, I, they need to add this. As like, I guess maybe an outdoor furnishing? But like outdoor for the house. Wakey wakey Alex. Doesn't look like there's anything further up here. Dicka dicka dun. Ba ba da ba da bam 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 ba ba da ba da. Oh hello! Didn't see you there. I wonder if there's a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. I mean, we were collecting pebbles in the side quests, which they said they could turn into gold, so we have there to look. Yeah, that looks like that's our next destination. Oh, can't jump off that. This is the highest point, isn't it? Well, I mean, obviously, apart from the much higher high point now. Hey, yeah, can't go over there. Can't go up there. Ah! I suppose this fills in the water part. So much water and so many flowers. One day, I'll make our armor rang look just like this. Trickle, trickle, splashy splash. Those horrible foth can't spoil our fun here. It's foth. I never say it right. Ticka, ticka, ding, 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 ding. Oh, it's a bit steep, isn't it? Would you like me to give you a push? Wee! I mean, we'll have to finish by going on the slide. Wee! Did you see how fast I went? You were quick as lightning. Let's do it that again. See you at the top! Are they gonna vanish? Yep! Off they go! And I think that's everything! Alright, so let's get ourselves over here past the scree. Scree! Zoop. Yep, perfect. So, with that, we have completed 
the technically main story of the Pixie Beast Tribe Quest. While in some ways I wouldn't have said it was the best, it was a very, very solid, very good story, linked in with the lore from the main story very well, and built up very well the ending I loved, especially the fact that there was actually the trial that you had to go through. That was really cool. And this area, look at it, it is, so, oh my god, I'm lost for words, it is so good. It is like so cool and really imaginative and I love it. And there's so many things that need to be made into like housing items. <laughs> but with that, I'll see you next time for the actual finale. However long or short that may be, I don't know. So thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!